G'day viewers, Michael Taylor from 64 Motorsport and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to remove the camshafts from your M54 BMW engine. Now this is a really important one. The camshafts in the BMW are hollow so if you take them out and preload it in the middle or on the ends you can risk actually snapping the camshafts or cracking them breaking them and that's a really expensive fix so there's a proper sequence that the camshafts need to be removed that will avoid placing too much load on any one point of the camshaft and risk uh, snapping it at the moment i'm at the point where i've got pretty much everything stripped down ready to change over and the reason I'm doing that is that I've originally installed a set of Shrik camshafts which are an aggressive street setup and at that point when I installed them I wasn't really thinking about doing forced induction or anything like that but since I've installed the supercharger I've got real concerns about the rest of the valve train because none of that has been upgraded. It's all pretty much stock and it's done roughly about 150, 160,000 kilometers, which is roughly 100,000 miles. I've called chicken and I'm going to take the Shrik camshafts out and put the standard ones back in. Set the Shrik ones to one side for later on when I've got a bit of extra coin and I'll rip the head off and do a full upgrade on the head and then put the Shrik camshafts in at that point. So that's my plan. That's why I'm taking them off and swapping them back to the standard ones. So I thought while I'm doing that, I'll show you the correct procedure for removing the camshafts off your M54 engine. So let's grab some tools and get straight into it. So the point we're at is I've got pretty much everything off ready to go to do the camshaft removal. So all the timing gears out, the chain tensioners, the Vanos unit obviously, and we're pretty much at the bare bones ready to remove the cam caps. I'm gonna do a separate video on installing the camshafts and also cover installing all the timing gear, getting all that set up and installing the Vanos. The main thing with this is that Take your time with it, there's no hurry, and you shouldn't have any problems. So the first thing we've got to do is realign the timing. So I've cur currently got this set on top dead center. I've removed the camshaft locks, which I had installed for removing the timing gear. And I've also removed the timing locking pin, which there's a hole at the back of the block secures the flywheel stops it from turning so you don't accidentally move things off top dead center while you're playing with the timing yeah do about a 45 degree turn on the crankshaft just to drop the piston just below top dead center to be sure that the valves don't come into contact with the top of the piston or anything like that it should be okay but just to be safe and i turn it roughly about 45 degrees anti-clockwise and for that I'm using a 24 mil socket which I just put on the crank I've got my timing mark marked with a white mark so I know where it is and I'm just going to move it just a smidgen off top dead center anti-clockwise the next thing we're going to do is we're going to move the position of the camshafts so that the cams below number three and number five cap are just resting on the lifters so they're both about equal onto the lifters in the middle of the camshafts there's some flats and that's where you secure your open-ended spanner to move the camshaft not at the ends where you you might think because you, you're gonna perhaps twist it so don't do that we're gonna start with the inlet cam and then do the exhaust cam What I'm going to do is start with the inlet side and the procedure is I'm going to loosen off all the caps except for the caps for three and five. I'm going to leave those tight at this stage so I'm going to remove all the nuts from the cam caps one through to seven except for three and five which I'll leave tightened.
now that I've taken off all the nuts for those cam caps except for three and five, I can remove all of them except for number one as well. I'm going to leave number one there because I'm going to use that as a, a visual aid for when I'm loosening three and five to make sure that the cam is lifting up evenly. So I'll remove all the others and put them in a safe spot. I've left number one there and three and five are still secured. So now the procedure is I loosen off three and five, each nut a quarter of a turn at a time. After I've done two full revolutions, I can then step that up to a half turn at a time until they're finger tight. Now while I'm doing that, I'm gonna keep an eye on the cam cap for the number one and just make sure that it's actually lifting up. I'll also keep an eye on the lifter tray to make sure that that's not lifting up as well because the last thing I wanna do is have all those hydraulic lifters drop out because it's really important that they stay in their designated spots. So let's get started with that. Okay, so now that I've got all those out, I've got all the caps removed, I can lift out the cam. So the exhaust side is very much the same as the inlet side, except what we're looking for is we're gonna leave the caps on number four and six. Keep the cap on number one, use that as a visual guide to make sure that it's lifting up just a quarter of a turn at a time till we've done two revolutions and then we can step it up to half a turn until it's finger tight and it should just pop out. out everything that everything's goes back to where it should and that way you know if something hasn't fallen where it shouldn't. The first time I did this I downloaded these instructions from the internet and I found that they're the best instructions for the Vanos timing gear and camshaft removal and installation that I found. Do what I did and print off the pages. I think there's about 15 pages or a dozen pages but if you print them off and you can have them handy and it's much easier than trying to flick through it on an iPad and things like that when you've got oily hands and it doesn't matter if you get a bit of oil on this you can just print out another copy. What I've got to do now is take the Vanos Helix that I've taken off those camshafts and put them back onto the original camshafts and there's a special tool for doing that but I'll cover all that in my new video and then get them back in. As always if you've enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos about uh, BMWs and my E46 build please consider subscribing and ring the bell so you get notified when new content comes out and don't forget I'm also on social media with Facebook and Instagram so if you want to get daily updates updates and daily information not just about my build but what other BMW owners are doing then consider following me on Facebook and Instagram as well. It's been a fun video to make, a little bit challenging but a fun video to make and I hope you've enjoyed it. Until next time, look after yourselves, stay safe and TTFN.